Maybe we'll be closer. How are you? That might be too close. Let me know if that's too close. How are you? Hey, Doreen. All right, so Doreen, let's chat. Um, when you sent me that new design, I was thinking we haven't, when's the last time we watercolored? or me. I have totally forgot about watercoloring. So we need to do that. That actually is the perfect transfer to do that. All right, let me, let me find me. I hope you all had a great holiday. I can't believe that's already come and gone now. All the planning, I know it is. All right, I need to do it. And you know what I was thinking, Doreen? Um, I was thinking of doing a burn, like a torch paste, right? on um, one of the box frames. I'm gonna try it out because I've only done it on the wood side, but I'm gonna try it on the white side. And if I can burn it, then I think I'm gonna do a watercolor technique on one of those. Hey, Terry, I think. We will see. Right, it's letting them hit you. Guys, and now we're on to Valentine's Day, but I feel, so, welcome. Number one, if you're new, I'm Patty Culver. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm not sure um, how much I'm gonna go on. It's kind of a funny week. Um, a lot of people are vacationing. But y'all, I wanna do a whole winter wonderland um, and of course I have everything over there to do it on, but, um, I decided to start with the tear tray tonight for a couple of reasons. Um, just in case you want to order any of these supplies going for projects going forward, I would want you to order them sooner than later. So you have them so we can do our projects together. Um, if you were going to order the snowman, you would have already had to have done it because of course it retired. Um, so I just want to do some designs for the Winter Wonderland with and without the transfer. Okay, we're going to use some napkins. Um, hey Marilyn! Marilyn got a fun gift certificate for Christmas. Hmm, wonder what you're going to get. So, I was thinking, let's start the tear tray so I can show you some of the products I'm using in case you want to hop on that bandwagon, okay? Again, the tear tray that I have is too big for this space back here. For those that you don't, that don't know, uh, this isn't my, this is a temporary residence for us while, while our house is being built. So I don't have my normal setup, and I have a really big tier tray. I have many tier trays, but the one that I like to show these projects on is super tall, um, and that's over there. Um, but, guys, um, anyone orders these blocks um, or from the cart link that I posted, I ordered today two sets of vintage napkins for us to use on our tier trays. So you might want to think about it. If you go ahead and order these blocks, it has to be a new order. If you go ahead and order these blocks, um, then you'll get the napkins. I wanted to show you how I'm going to use them. I'm probably going to use more than one set. Um, now remember, we always used to run to like Home Depot and grab all the scraps. Hey, Deb. 
how are you? Um, we used to go to Home Depot and, you know, grab the scraps. But if you don't want to do that, we have these blocks now. Super easy, right? Um, so we're going to use these tonight. And um, we're going to go and do the larger of the three blocks. So let me show you this. Um, and I'm going to do a little housekeeping, very little, okay? So these are our block sets. They're under surfaces, but I did go ahead and I posted a cot link at the top. Um, remember, it's just um, a link you can add to or delete from this link to make it your own, okay? You do not have to grab everything that's in the cart link. And if you're running low on supplies, you can go ahead and add to the link, okay? All right, so these blocks, this block set, there's three, I like to keep this. Guys, you can actually um, paste a transfer on here and cut it out and use it. So it's like a 3D effect almost. Um, I, I like them just to paint on them. But, um, all right, so these are three blocks. We've used them before. Um, these two little guys right here. All right, so these were the napkins that we used once. So these two little guys are these blocks right here. Okay? Some of you got this hat from me too. I forgot why we gave those hats away. But some of you got those hats. Um, all right, so three sizes, three different sizes and all really great sizes for different reasons. Oh, um, did you? Wait, does that mean all your Christmas stuff is down? Hey, Sherry. Does that mean you took your Christmas stuff down? Or are you a double kind of gal where you can do two holidays in one? My neighbors across the street, y'all, still have pumpkins on their front porch. Orange pumpkins. Some people go ahead and paint their orange pumpkins white and make Christmas things out of them, and that's cool. But orange pumpkins... Uh, all right, guys, um, we're going to paint. So for those of you who don't know, you can go ahead and paint with our chalk paste. I'm not going to do that tonight. Any items that I use tonight, um, I will post on a separate link in case you want to purchase anything outside of the chalk couture. Um, items that I have. Um, one thing I am using tonight, we're going to paint. This little guy is from Home Depot, so I have the item number for him. But let's go ahead and paint so we can get this to dry a little bit and then move forward, okay? You keep your tree up until New Year's, yeah. Well, we're gonna, so we had a little um, hiccup for Christmas, we're actually going to celebrate later on. So my tree is staying up longer. I will, I always keep my tree up till New Year's Day. I usually take it down on New Year's Day. But this year we're going to keep it up a little bit longer. And that's okay. Yeah, so I was trying to take some stuff down here. So guys, um... I'm not sure if I went live since this went on sale, but so do you remember last week I did this and this was our gray surface and I painted it navy? So weird because I had no idea that this was going to come out of the vault and this was going to be one of the transfers that are on sale. So this still is available and it's on sale um, on my shop, in my shop if you're interested in this. And I know it's hard to see, but we put some glitter down on the pine cones. This is really, really beautiful. I kind of scuffed it up a little with my palm sander and I'm really loving it. I haven't put it up on my shop site because I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it or not. Jeff wants me to keep it. We'll see. The thing I wanted to talk about was our pillar stand. Guys, all right, I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek. Well, maybe I can't. 
No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. But if you are joining us for January's Pillar Stand Club, um, I've already started thinking about embellishments. Some of you have, I've already gotten quite a few orders already of people that are joining us this month, but I'm pretty excited. Now the transfer that we're using is this one for the Pillar Stand Club. And it's actually a smaller five by seven. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna fill the surface up. I'm gonna do something a little bit different this month. So if you plan on joining us, please go ahead and purchase your transfer by the 31st. That way I can get all your embellishments out the door. Oh, well, you know, you can do it too, Terry. That was really easy. That was just Mod Podge and that thick glitter. And I think I, um, I would have posted the link for that glitter. That was the thicker glitter that I used. But yeah, look at it. These are really fun for winter. Remember I told you I don't decorate a lot for the winter, but I do like a couple of things pop in every so, every, you know, depending where. I'm not sure what I'm doing in this house yet, but um, I like to still have some things for the winter out and about. They are pretty. They really are. You know, they're really, they were pretty. Um, I like the silver. I've seen people put um, red glitter on them. Um, and green glitter, gold glitter. I mean, I've seen all the colors. Um, of course, that was my favorite. That's why I did it that way. But the, you can put every kind of, any color glitter on it, right? You can do pink for Valentine's Day. All right. So, like I said, we can paint with our chalk paste, but tonight I am going to just use this apple barrel, and I can post the links to this as well. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and paint on this, though, so it doesn't go through. All right, so let me, while I'm painting, let's talk about the Pillar Stand Club, because every month when I post it, I get questions, which is a good thing, because we have new people all the time. So what the, this is, this is the pillar stand, okay? This was this month's project. This was December's project. It's hard to see with the light, okay? So this is a pillar stand, okay? It usually fits our five by seven transfers, but sometimes you can put a larger size transfer on it. Um, and that is vertical or horizontal and in order to be in the Pillar Stand Club, you have to purchase a Pillar Stand. You can get that right from my shop. The beauty of the Pillar Stand Club, and I think this is where people get a little confused, is... No, Sherry, they're not. Mm -mm. No, there are some that are on sale, but they didn't put all of them on sale. If you go to my um, All Things Patty, if you go to my shop page um, and hit what's new, you'll see the ones that are on sale. Um, no, I'm sorry. No, you won't. The what's new is the Valentine's transfers. Um, once you log on, there is ClipBot that has, um, it says go out with a bang or something like that. If you click on that, that will bring you to all the sale items. Um, but there are some that are on sale. All right, so the Pillar Stand Club. So the beauty of the Pillar Stand Club is that it's total op totally optional, okay? One, it is by far my favorite, favorite thing to do. Um, the beauty of the Pillar Stand Club is you get to change out your design once a month if you want to, okay? The only thing you have to purchase the month you want to join is the transfer that we're doing, okay, if you want. The transfers are, are 
if you purchase the transfer, then I send you all the embellishments for free. Like everybody got all those embellishments for free this month. So it's just, it's a huge perk of being in the Pillar Sand Club. Um, it's just, it's something that I designed for my customers. A lot of um, designers, you know, I've taught a lot of designers how to run a Pillar Sand Club. So a lot of them are doing it, a lot of them are doing it a lot different. Um, I love giving away things, so I give away the embellishments. And then the next month, you may not want to join us. You may not be fond of the transfer that's selected, or you just don't want to change out the design. And that's totally up to you. And you don't even need to let me know. Um, because if you join, I get notification that you have purchased the transfer. I have it flagged. So that's how I know that you're joining that month. And then the project is done the 21st of every month. Time's always TBD. And if for some reason you can't make the, um, the date and time, the time on the 21st, the video always stays up so you can always refer back to it. But it is a lot of fun. Um, People love getting the surprise embellishments in the mail. Of course, I love sending them out. Um, but there is a cutoff on the dates to purchase the monthly transfer because I need to make sure I can get those embellishments out in a timely manner so we can all do the project together on the 21st. So if it's something that you think you might want more information on, just in the comments, write Pillar Stand Club, and I can send you more information. Like I said, it doesn't cost anything to be in the club. There's no monthly fee. All you have to do is purchase the Pillar Stand. I have a lot of customers who purchase more than one. Um, actually, especially around the holidays, they um, like using the design and um, give gifts. So, you know, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Easter, Halloween, definitely Christmas. I find a lot of people buying multiple pillar stands because remember, you can use the transfers up to 15 times, 12 to 15 times is average. So a lot of people make gifts with the transfers, which makes sense. All right, let's, I'm gonna dry this. I think because this is gonna be on a tray, we're gonna want to paint both sides. So again, if you have any questions on the pillow stand, just comment pillow stand and I definitely will send you more information, okay? Hey, Flora, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. Amy, I replied to that question that you had. Um, so it is a retired transfer, um, but I do know some designers that have extras. So if it's something that you want, let me know and I can get one for you. We opened another book of transfers today to sell used transfers. Again, guys, if you know of a transfer I have used in the past and you want me or want to know if I'm going to be putting that up for sale as a used transfer, just message me because I never, I never know which order I'm going to go in, which book I'm going to pull out next. But if you're waiting on a transfer, just let me know. I'd rather pull it out for you. I love Tennessee. We were just there for, I was just there. When was I there? When was I in Tennessee, y'all? 
I was there for Kim Leadership. Or convention. I can't remember. One of them. But I was just there. Do you have mine plural? So, Becky, if you go into, um, I don't have it here. I'm getting it from another designer. But if you go in your, um, if you go into the ISO group, you can put a request in for it. Oh, right, Terry. <laughs> right. I knew I was there. It was Chalk Con. You're absolutely right. I'm glad somebody remembers. Guys. It was for ChopCon. <laughs> I feel like I'm always going somewhere. Um, so I have like a little boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, guys. Um, I have luckily been a leader with Chop Couture for a very long time. And I have been able to go to every single leadership. Every single one. Um... I love going to leadership. I love learning. Um, I have so much fun. Um, I enjoy it more than convention, believe it or not. And yes. And I can't go because my niece is getting married. I am like devastated devastated like I can't even talk about it <laughs> um, you know everybody's been e emailing me what time does your flight get in and um, all right we gotta what are you going in early? Are we going to go to dinner? And the other thing also is um, my niece that's getting married. It's a destination wedding. And I promise you, like, so, no, I feel bad. They've actually canceled this wedding twice already or postponed it uh, due to COVID. Okay, so last year they jumped way ahead and they picked a date in January thinking everything would be fine. And now with the new variant, there is um, wicked stipulations for where we're going. And I... You know, tickets have been bought. The only good thing, not the only, not that it's good, but the only saving grace is you can cancel for COVID-related reasons. Um, now, you won't get a refund on the tickets, but you will um, be able to use them. I have a funny feeling it's going to get canceled. I do. Yes, so great question. Oh, great, Sherry. I, I wasn't sure. I, maybe I had you already for the pillow stand. I never remember. All right, so the one awesome thing about Chocature is that as a leader, you can um, purchase a virtual ticket, okay? Um, now, there's a cutoff date for purchasing the tickets, and I at first wasn't buying the ticket because of the wedding activities. Like, I wouldn't be able to, like, sit in a room and do this. So, I didn't purchase the virtual ticket either until the very last day. It's not very expensive until the very last day um, because I thought, oh, am I going to get, um, you know, am I going to be able to, I don't know where 
in with my brushes I go. Um, I didn't think I would be able to spend time, and you know, it's three days. I didn't know if I would be able to spend time like sitting in a room, so I wasn't buying a ticket. And then something just said, you know what, Patty, buy the ticket. So I bought the ticket, and I, I'm glad that I did because if, um, if the wedding does get canceled, then at least now I can do this virtually. Put the glove on. But yeah, um, last year, the year before last, they allowed convention to go virtual. And now they're making that an option. And I have a funny feeling um, that's just the way it's going to be from now on. Um, you will have the option to go virtual or in person. Because um, it's the way of the times, right? So um, I think it's awesome. And you know, it's not that easy to set those kind of things up. So... I love that Chocature does that for us. Love, love, love. And there's still perks even if you go virtually as a leader. Like obviously I'm not gonna take home, you know, we get like $300 worth of goodies when we go. It's like crazy what they give us. So I will miss out on that. Um, but even with a virtual ticket as a leader, there are perks to virtual tickets, so um, they're very, very gracious. All right, so I'm going to paint this white, so I guess by now you know the color scheme. And it was fun to uh, do that poll today to see what colors you want to start using on your tear trays. Um, some people don't like mixing mauves with reds. It's so funny because when I was going through my Valentine ribbon, um, I have a lot of ribbon that is both mauve and red combos. Um, so, you know, anything goes, right? But it's funny looking when... Like when I open the Valentine box and, you know, I see the ribbon, I'm like, oh, I remember what I made with this ribbon or what did I ever make with this ribbon? <laughs> like I talk to myself. All right. So we're just getting this molding painted. This technically is a corner molding and I'm not using it on any corners. And if you want, we could distress this a little bit. I'm not going to distress this piece at all. Um, I was contemplating it, but for this, I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave this a bright red. Um, our bright white paste is back in stock, and our candy apple red is back in stock. So um, I did put that on the link if you're needing any paste. Just dry back a little so I can sit it. It's not the same. But you're right. You know, I, so leadership and convention are two totally different animals, right? So leadership is all about educating us and uh, new tools to use and, um, you know, how to be better leaders for our team. And, and then, you know, you get to see your peers and you get to be with other leaders. And it's, it's just amazing. It, 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 it truly is amazing. Convention is like, you just smile. It's so much fun. 
um, you know, there's learning, there's classes and things like that. Um, but for some reason, I'm just drawn to the leadership part of it. Right, I'm not going to worry too much. But some of this is going to show because I'm going to have it hang over. So I just want to make sure anything that's going to show is painted. All right, this is really, I'm going to bring this closer so you can see it too. And I, like I said, I have the number to this. I will, you're gonna see my dirt through the glove, but. All right, so this, and I'll um, post the picture of it, but isn't that pretty? Hey, Diane, howdy to you. All right, so we're gonna let this dry. And again, I'm using Apple Barrel Bright Red and Americana Snow White. Got them both at Hobby Lobby. If you want the exact numbers, just let me know. I will post that later. Let this dry. You like scrolly things. Yeah, I've got bigger ones too. I have larger ones um, that we're going to be using for larger projects. And what, I, what I'm doing tonight, you can do the total opposite. You can leave the block white and just use red paste. And that would look super pretty. these a little bit before the lives. I feel bad you guys having to watch paint dry for real. I do, Kelly. Always. Did you catch that one? <laughs> Terry brings out the worst to me. Now, if I used that chalk paste, this would already be dry. Plans 
on using all four of these pieces. I'm going to use um, the piece that I like the least out of the four tonight just because I can position it further down in order to put this block on. But I love the scroll work on these pieces. They're really pretty. The fonts are all different, Terry. And these look awesome paired with our, uh, the rectangle, our basic shapes, the rectangles. It must be. Seems whenever I use red and black, I make more of a mess. All right, because we painted this, I am going to go ahead and wax it. And that way the transfer won't, um, it'll be easier to pull the transfer up. I don't know why that is, Kelly. All right, so like I said, I am going to use this first one tonight. Maybe. I actually also think that this will be the nicer one to go in the vertical position. Um, so these also would look really good with these blocks how the blocks are set up, and we're gonna do that as well. You know what I wanted to show you guys? I don't know if you all saw this kit, but this is the kit that we're selling. It's called the Heart and Home Kit. Everything you need is right in the kit. All the paste, the brush, there's blocks. Okay, guys, look at the little heart in the house, the instructions, there's a video link. We're going to be doing this together, but this, I promise you, is like the cutest, cutest kit. You can stack the blocks. Um, it's kind of, it's double-sided. One you can do for Valentine's Day, one you can do for, you know, just to leave out all year long if you wanted to. So they put a lot of thought into it. And they definitely give you your money's worth. Definitely. All right. Let me... I think I want to use this side. All right. So let's go ahead and put my favorite wax down. If you need the link to this wax, I can post that as well. And it really is just wax on, wax off. Great smell to it. All right. And because this is a new transfer, we're going to go ahead and even though we waxed, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of fuzz on it. Don't worry when you're putting fuzz on the back. When you wash this in water, it will reactivate the sticky so you are not ruining your transfer at all. So let's see how I'm going to position this. Yeah. 
this I know I wanted to hang over. Let me do this so it's not sticky so I can see where I can position it. How far down? Can I go? I don't want to do it there. Get the ribbon. All right, so I'm going to bring this as close to the bottom as I can. And I'm going to do it all white. Again, you can do this with any of the transfers, but I thought this one would be best vertically. You'd be able to see it the most. And it's also given me, the others are a little bit wider, so this one was giving me more space up the top. And you wanna get, make sure you get all those air bubbles out. Now, if you wanted to do different colors, you could do the heart in gold. I mean, there's a lot. You don't have to do this project if you're going to do this project in all red and white. It's just something I'm doing. Um, you can add gold to it. You can add black to it. Some of the ribbon that I'm using is going to have some black in it. And just our bright white paste, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and push that paste through. And then you're going to squeegee up the excess. Now remember, we're not working with a chalkboard, so you want to be a little careful that it doesn't go on the wood, because it would just be harder to wipe up right now. And you may want to distress your, distress your project, which I think would look beautiful. So you would do that before you did the paste. If you're in the VIP lounge for the first time tonight, please say hello. Love for you to introduce yourself. Ta-da! Let's just, I wanna get a little bit picked up the wax, so let me... dry it and then we'll add a little more paste. Just touching this up a little. I think there was like a little bit of air bubble underneath that you can't even see it. I was messed up all weekend with like the football schedule and I really messed up. All right. We're done with the paste. If 
I can't, my gun's not working. We'll just go ahead and glue it. when I did this I was going to do it horizontal and put a handle on the top but I decided we would do this vertically instead anyways. I don't know if I got my lodger nail in here. Oh, I do. I thought I had my small one in there. That just go through. Alright, we're not done. So that's it so far. We're not done. So technically, you could have had the block going horizontally, but you know me, I'm not doing it. All right, so let's see. I know I want to add like a heart. So I think I'm going to do it here. Let's play a little bit, and if we don't like it, we can take it apart. Still kind of sticky. That's why I like to kind of paint what I'm using before the live. Because it's still a little sticky. Fine. I know for a fact I have a red already open and I couldn't find it. some black. Okay. 
I'll use that. And I think I might throw in some extra white. shiny you guys tell me do you want to see a shiny heart or a matte heart it's funny because matte would match the paint better but I'm thinking shiny might I think matte tell me what, what do you guys want when we get to three it's the winner shiny or matte heart what do you guys want to see shiny You have not heard of pull up hot ribbon? Oh, Patty, hang out with us just a little bit longer. We've got lots of pull up hot ribbons. <laughs> oh, see, we got a shiny, a matte. Oh, we've got the shiny matte, matte, matte. We're going with the matte. Because that's number three, right? Shiny, matte, matte. <laughs> Kelly, either. Were you a good girl in school all the time, Kelly? All right, let's play. Let's play. Again, no rhyme or reason. You know I never even do the same way all the time. Because once it's on there, you never know how it's going to place. I think I'm going to have to put it off to the side. Let me fix this before I put the actual heart on. Now remember, I it doesn't bother me that we, you know, I, I'm okay with, um, covering up letters, that doesn't bother me. Because it's really a show, right? Let's see if I can really tuck this a little tighter to bring it up just a little more. We're gonna need a little dab. Oh, maybe not. Am I not using glue at all, people on this? Uh, yeah, I kind of want that to be up there. Devil, do ya? So we'll do one right here. Let's get that there. Okay. Then. 
There's no way we would have left here without using glue tonight. Were you guys watching last year? Does anybody remember? So I don't even remember if I did it during a live. Um, you know, I had my issues with hot glue past, <laughs> haven't we all? Um, and it was the, it wasn't, I don't know if it was the hot, it might've been stars, I can't remember, but the glue was so hot, it popped the ornament. Every time I hot glue an ornament down, that's all I can think of. Wait till you see what I'm doing for the Pillow Stand Club. There's gonna be something really cute in there. Like wicked cute. I think you guys will like it. All right, I think we are done. Who wants to see it? Hey, Latanya, how are you? Thanks for hanging. How are you tonight? Never heard. What? <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Who wants to see it? Now, remember, this doesn't look like much by itself, but it's going to be part of the tear tray, okay? be part of the tear tray. So we have to have patience until we get more pieces, right? What do you think? Do you like it? Oh, thanks guys. It will be really pretty on the tray. All right, so remember, these are our, um, they come three to the package, okay? And the greatest thing about these guys is you can, any way you want, okay? You build it and they will come. So we're gonna be using a couple of these. I'm actually gonna be using a couple of packages. Um, I put the link up top. If you're gonna be working on a Valentine's tea tray, in the comments, just put Valentine tray um, so I know how many of us are going to be working on it. And then if you purchase the blocks from the cart link tonight, um, it has to be a new purchase. I will send you, when I get them in, um, the vintage um, napkins that I remember last year's. Oh, guys. All right, I can't tell you. <laughs> I almost gave something away. Oh, you're not gonna believe what I found. I, I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. But um, I can't tell you. It's a napkin. But it was one of my fa all time favorite napkins. And she had a Valentine edition of it. And she never had them before. So, um, there's one of those and then there's a no, so there's two napkins so there'll be two napkins that would be sent to you free so go ahead if you have any questions just let me know again the link is posted at the top you can add to or delete from that cot link make it your own most of you already have white paste most of you have red paste um go ahead and get that transfer and go ahead and purchase the blocks and we are going to have fun don't worry we still have a lot of winter left in us so we will be doing some winter things but i wanted to stop this tonight so you could go ahead and get these blocks um believe it or not we're still about eight to ten days out on our shipping chocature is um just you know they got backlogged from not only the holiday but then we had that release the surprise out with a bang um, and whoever asked me tonight Sherry I think asked if you go ahead and click my store um, right on the front page if you click go out with a bang you'll see all the transfers that are for sale there are some um, holiday ones but remember these are very limited quantity um, and once they're gone they're sold out they're gone for good okay all right, guys. Thanks.
guys for joining me tonight. Love to all. You will see or if you have any questions, just message me. Okay? Bye, everybody. Good night.